Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. Still on the good old Commodore 64, this is Squirm, which was released by Mastertronic in 1984. Uh, now, <laughs> looking at this title page, you would be forgiven for thinking, Ugh, um, there are no sprites anywhere. There are no sprites in the game at all. All of the graphics are made up of UDGs. At least they fucking look like UDGs. Um, so, well, let's get a game underway. And, uh... I'll uh, try explaining this one. So you are this thing, uh, it's basically, as you can see, a Pac-Man game, and uh, you need to collect these eggs, which are released by the uh, Queen Worm. And once you've collected enough of them, you can then go on to uh, the bonus stage and then on to the next level. But it's only the Queen Worm that actually releases the eggs. Uh, the other worms just go around and, well, chase after you. So they don't really chase after you as such. They just move around and... Oh, fuck it, oh, okay. Oh, bollocks. The keys are not very sensitive. Over. So with the bonus stage you just go around and basically try and collect as many points as you can as if that's not what you're doing in the regular game. There we go. Did alright there. You obviously cannot retrace your steps during the bonus level. So on we are to level 2. Now level 2 here you have that bonus thing uh, moving around the bottom. I, I haven't got a clue what killed me there. Well, that was a, a short go, to say the least. And I'm out of tea. Alright, well, let's try that again, because uh, that was a really shit go. All right. So, the, the, the ideal strategy is really to get as close behind the uh, queen worm as you can, and collect the eggs uh, quickly because uh, otherwise the other worms if they come along and uh, touch the eggs they will then take them away from the screen oh fuck it okay it does look like they follow a set route which is actually quite handy because it means you have a chance of memorising <laughs> where they are going. Fuck it, oh, I am really fucked here. That was extremely lucky. Oh, fuck it, oh, there's one right up my ass. Oh, okay. It's the queen worm again. All right, here we go. So that's the level done. Could have got extra bonus points, but I did all right there. So we're on to level two, where I should last a lot longer this time. Now, what I really want to try and do is capture that fucking bonus thing that's flying around. There we go. All right, now let's start getting some of these eggs. Oh, 
I'm trying to get there we go. Not again. Uh, right, so bonus level. Uh, right. Okay, it looks like I've wasted that one. Yeah. Well, I got a bit of a bonus. Alright, so level 3. I can't remember what the layout of level 3 is. Things taking the uh, eggs again. There we go. Okay. Fucking. Yeah, I'll right, we'll go up here. Oh, that's handy. That wasn't really where I wanted to go, but... Well, that'll do. So, I want the level 4. Can't remember what level 4 is like. They don't seem to be all that different, these levels. I didn't have much chance there. Okay, well, there we go. Game over. So... As you can see, it's it's a fairly simple, I guess you could say, it's a Pac-Man sort of clone. Right, so, um, let's get the review underway. Uh, obviously, uh, another game underway while we are doing that. So graphically, it's unbelievably basic. The graphics are only sort of like a small step up from what you would expect to see on a uh, cassette 50 uh, game. If you remember that infamous fucking heap of shit. Um, audio is... Well, it, it works, or at least it works to a degree, because as you can quite clearly hear, the, the, the pitch goes up as you collect more of the uh, eggs. The problem is that uh, once it reaches a certain pitch, it's a lot more difficult to actually hear the uh, actual pitch increase. So, trying to uh, use the audio to tell you how far you are in the uh, game is not so straightforward. Oh, fuck it out. I thought I was... well... Ah, oh, bollocks fucked it. I mean, the music is... <laughs> well, it's there. I mean, thankfully it's not there for long because it does get a bit annoying. But, I mean, the jingles are... Uh, distinctive enough. They're... Uh, I mean, they're clear. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the gameplay is fluid, even if it is nothing, you know revolutionary. The problem is I'm now going to lose all of my lives, yeah, because um, it kept putting me at the start of the level where that worm was already standing there, so that was a bit 
cuntish and it's one uh, rather annoying glitch that the game has. But, I mean, you know, it's simple, it's uh, not the worst game I've ever played. It is quite disposable, quite forgettable. Um, but, yeah, there, there's far, far worse out there. Uh, I will score it... Uh, I'll score it 4 out of 10. I'll say it's... It's not atrocious, but don't go expecting something absolutely wonderful because you are going to be uh, sorely disappointed. I think the uh, bonus when you collect that uh, flashing thing is entirely random. Sometimes it's 100, sometimes it's only 10. You fucker, and now it's going to put me in the act. Uh, okay, actually, uh, let me uh, continue the game. For fuck's sake, uh, at last, looks like oh, okay, 10. I thought for a moment it said zero, and uh, now it's going to oh, okay. Don't rate my chances of scoring highly in this. Ah, oh. oh, bollocks. I'm not looking at what I was fucking doing. Well, there you go, so that is uh, Squirm then, uh, 4 out of 10, uh, it's pretty forgettable stuff. Uh, um, it's a bit more polished than early, you know, the, the very early uh, Mastertronic games. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's nothing particularly remarkable here. Uh, uh, for curiosity's, uh, curiosity's sake, you may want to give it a, a go, but um, yeah, don't expect anything uh, fantastic. So that is uh, Squirm. Really, I think the most fun you're going to get out of this game is trying to get a German person to say the uh, title. Um, right, that's uh, it for this one then. Uh, we shall see you at the next one.